the Sub-Q Contraceptive Injection, DMPASC. The Subcutaneous Contraceptive Injection, known as either DMPASC or Depo Sub-Q, is given in the fat layer of the thigh or belly. It contains a lower dose of the same hormone as the usual contraceptive injection that's given in a muscle. It's equally effective in preventing pregnancy. Depo Sub-Q comes in a pre-filled syringe and can be given by a woman herself at home. It's simple, quick and safe, and prevents pregnancy for three months. It can also be given by a health worker. This video will tell about Depo Sub Q and show the steps to teach a woman how to safely and confidently give herself the injection. First, counsel the woman about the method. Tell her to expect changes in her monthly bleeding. At first, it may be heavier or irregular. Then, bleeding often becomes lighter with spotting. Eventually, she may have no bleeding at all. This is normal and safe. Some women may also have a little weight gain or mood changes. Ask about her health. This is a very safe method for almost all women, except women with breast cancer, liver tumors, blood clots, cardiovascular disease, or severe hypertension. If she is having unusual vaginal bleeding, she should be evaluated before starting the injection. A woman can get the injection anytime as long as she's quite sure she's not pregnant. If it's been more than seven days after the start of her monthly bleeding, have her avoid sex or use condoms for a week following the injection. Answer her questions. Then, when she has decided, teach her how to use the syringe and inject herself during the visit. First, show the woman how to check the package to be sure it's not damaged and not expired. Next, open the package and remove the device. Show her the four parts, the cap, the gap, the pot, and the reservoir. There should be a gap between the cap and the pot and no medicine leaking. If anything is wrong, tell her to discard that device and use a new one. The injection goes in the fat of the belly but not at the navel or in the front of the thigh. Show the woman the steps. First, mix the medicine. Hold the device by the pot and shake it well while counting to 30. Tell her it's normal to have an air bubble in the reservoir. Then close the gap. Hold the device by the pot with the needle pointing up. Push the cap and the pot firmly together to close the gap. Now, the injection is ready to use. Demonstrate how to inject with an empty syringe on a practice model such as a condom filled with salt. Remove the cap. Hold the device by the port. Then pinch up the tissue between the thumb and fingers. Insert it straight down, pushing the tiny needle in until the port touches the surface. Move the fingers up to the reservoir. Press the thumb and first finger firmly together and count slowly to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then relax the hold on the skin and remove the needle. Alert women about two common issues. First, it's not so easy to close the gap. She will need to use a little force to push the two parts together. Second, 
If the woman doesn't firmly pinch the reservoir, she may leave medicine inside and not get her full contraceptive dose. The reservoir is made of firm plastic and needs to be directly and firmly pinched between her fingertips to push the medicine out. We assure her that it's okay if a small drop leaks onto her skin or if a little medicine is left in the reservoir. Have the woman practice injecting an empty device until she's comfortable with the technique. When she is ready, have her carry out the steps herself with your guidance and support. We assure her the injection is not painful. First, have the woman wash her hands with soap and water. She may also clean the skin at the injection site if it's dirty. She shakes the device while counting to 30 to mix the medicine well. Then she pushes the cap and the port together to close the gap and removes the cap. Next, she holds the device by the port, then gently pinches up her fat tissue. She aims the needle down into her skin, inserts it to the hub, then moves her fingers up to the reservoir. She presses her fingertips directly and firmly into the bubble and counts slowly to seven. Then relaxes her pinch and removes the needle. Tell the woman not to rub the area to let the medicine absorb slowly. Have her put the device directly into a safe container such as a plastic water bottle to avoid a needle prick. Now show the woman how to determine the date of her next injection. From her injection date, she counts three months and circles that date on the calendar. The injection will be most effective if she gives it to herself on that date. It can be given up to two weeks early or four weeks later. If she is ever more than four weeks late for an injection, she should avoid having sex or use condoms until she gets another injection. Give the woman three devices to give her contraceptive protection for a year. Offer her a supply of condoms to protect against sexually transmitted infections. Tell her to keep the devices and her needle container in a safe place at room temperature and out of reach of children. Have her return to the clinic for a new supply of devices when she's given herself her last injection. Be sure to give her simple reminder instructions with pictures and a calendar. Remember, Depo Sub Q prevents pregnancy for three months. Teach women to give themselves the injection at home. It's simple and empowering. <laughs>